Johnny P. Doc, Matt Smith, an example will be here soon. First, though, she's a woman who always delivers the knockout punch when it comes to bitching about other celebrities' fashion. It's Miss K.O. herself, Kelly Osborne! <laughs> Right. Now, listen, let's get serious first. We're very serious No, we, right we are. Now. I've got to ask you about Jack. How is he? We've all had oh, the sad news. Oh, fuck off. He... You had to get that serious. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 we, we love Jack. I'm we just going to... I'm just going to touch on this very briefly, otherwise you'll end up in floods of... I will end up in floods yeah, of okay, tears okay. because... Yeah, yeah. And my brother gets mad at me because he's my baby brother and I love him so much. Of course, but yeah. But I'm so proud of him for standing up and coming forth and letting the world know that he does have MS because there is such a misconception of what it is and he is putting himself out there in such a brave way to, to make a difference and show people that, you, you know, it's not a life, you know, life and death thing. You can live just as long as anyone, as anyone else if you look after yourself. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's doing. Well, we send it all our love, don't we? And how is Ozzy? Amazing. He's currently in the studio with all the boys from Black Sabbath and they're yeah. doing an album and it's so weird. They've turned it into schoolboys again. Yeah, yeah. Like they call me up and they're like, come down to the studio and I come down there and Tony's like, oh my God, you are exactly like your father is when he was your age. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> hey, how do you take that? I do take it as a compliment because <laughs> my dad is fucking amazing. I oh, know he He's is. a freak of nature. I remember what he said to me, do you talk like that normally? <laughs> I went, hello, Ozzy, nice to meet you. Do you talk like that normally? Are you having a laugh? <laughs> I'm like, all right, laugh. Chill out. <laughs> if I'm no, skipping over was... dog shit round the house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Have they've you been got fully... a cleaner yet? Excuse me, my dogs have been fully trained. My dogs are fully trained and don't do any of that. But do you poop and scoop some of the other dogs in your house? Why would I do that? Well, I don't want to pick up anyone else's well, shit. Well, everyone loses if there's a dog shit still in the thing, isn't it? I'm not picking that up. That's not one of mine. <laughs> no, <but> you, know, <laughs> you know what I love is that in the apartment building I live in, there's a, uh, a like a dog park walk area. Oh, right. And everyone picks up their dog shit, puts it in a plastic bag and just throws it on the floor. And there's a, literally a bin, like, three feet away. And I don't understand why they just don't... Put it in the bin. But I think you're going too far. I think you've had such a success with fashion police, you're like turning into dog shit patrol. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're, you're moving into other no, areas. No, it's just that it's gross. All right, don't have a go at me. I don't live in the apartment block. <laughs> Do you know who else is in my building? Who? Matt Goss. <gasps> From Brass. Yes, in every time. Oh my. One brassette. One brassette. I love it. Love it. Where'd you know? <laughs> telling you that. Well, give me a rough area. Where, where, where? Like uh, America. We we ho. <laughs> like the gay what? area of West Hollywood. Oh. What? I, I, I don't like know. living we, oh, with okay, the gays. OK. Oh, Matt Goss, that's an exclusive. <laughs> 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 Goss is not gay. No, he's not. I wish he it? was, but he's not. Uh, we've got to talk about my favourite show, Fashion Police. Do you love it? I absolutely <laughs> love it. I can't even express to you how happy I am because I have a job that I truly love. I cannot fathom that I get paid to do something that I love. But it's so harsh there. I mean, you'll get someone who's maybe worn high heels instead of flat, a flat pair of flats and you treat them worse than a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> like, disgusting, look at her. <laughs> don't put her on like a register for well, espadrilles. I, I Joyce! Mean... <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's true, though. It's, you know, it's common. I leave the jokes to Joan, and I, I, I'm honest when I say this, I would never say anything about anyone that I wouldn't say to their face. No, no. I mean, let's have a look at a clip of Fashion Police. Oh, my God, what are you going to play? No, well, here's you and Joan sticking it to our very own Beatrice and Eugenie. Oh, Aww. God, they're my good friends and I'm going to feel like shit. Now you didn't say that before you're slagging them off. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to preface this again with I am a royalist, but I had to pick 
Beatrice and Eugenie at the Royal Wedding. <laughs> and the reason being is because I thought it was the most ironic thing of life that when you look at the Disney yeah. Cinderella, when the evil stepsisters go to the ball, <laughs> it's the exact same outfit. I know. Why would you do that? <laughs> Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice at the Royal Wedding, but do you know who I blame? Who? I go to you know, Kat. Their mother, Sarah Ferguson, I'm sorry. When is she going to tell them, no matter how desperate you are to get them married, the IUD does not go on your head, <laughs> it goes in your vagina. Yeah. I love her so much. I love Joan so much. She gets me in trouble so much. I, that's why I've got asked, because Joan is so near the mark. I mean, I watch it all the She's time. She's a fucking genius in that way, let me tell you. She pushes it to the point where it's just there. And you're just like, there. She said Ashley Simpson, do you see when she was on the thing like here? She said, she's looked like she's just done anal. I mean, that is... <laughs> that's not... My favourite new one that she did recently that had me to... that made me wean myself was that we were sat there and she's like... I can't even remember who it was that she was talking about. She's like... Doesn't it look like she's got a camel, camel, what is it, camel, camel? And we were all going, toe? And she goes, no, face. <laughs> <laughs> Die, because oh. I, was like, I did not expect that at all. Yeah. I've got to ask you about Lady Gaga. What did you think of the burqa she was rocking at London Fashion Week? Oh, Do you I'm... want to know my honest opinion? Yeah. I think she's pregnant. Because what? she's been covering up this part of her body a lot yeah. recently. You think she's and pregnant? I've been noticing that a lot. And just because of my job, I have to look at everything. Oh. And all of her, her, her style has completely changed. And you can't bleach your hair blonde when you're pregnant. Oh. Um, my... So do you think she's got that handbag at mother care? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now, when does the new series of Fashion Police start? It's at 9 p.m. every Sunday on E. And trust me, if you want to piss yourself, watch it because I do every week. <laughs> <laughs> and I work there. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Kelly Osborne, everyone. <laughs>
she left it all to him in the will. Uh, we've got a clip from tomorrow night's episode. Before we have a look, can you explain what's going on? Because I've seen the clip and I have no idea. In the episode, it's all about these sort of evil, evil boxes. boxes yeah. And they're doing something to people's cardiac system. And the doctor has two hearts and he struggles with with these boxes doing something to his heart. And I, I, I think it's that scene. Yeah, yeah, well, I hope so, after that explanation. Yeah, I know. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, next weekend, the doctor says goodbye to Amy Pond. Yeah. Oh. Aww. Come on, spill the beans. Well... How's she gonna snuff it? <laughs> um, well, that's, that's the episode that we filmed in New York. And, um, um it's, it's very dramatic and hopefully climactic and hopefully very emotional and, and uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's sad to see them go, but that's what it's about. It's about sort of change and regeneration and all that, so you've got to embrace it, really. A lot of dads are worried now about who they're going to perv over when Karen leaves. Right? <laughs> now, your next assistant's a little bit tasty, too. I can assure she... the dads if they want to perv, it's still there. It's, Look it's... at this. Look. <laughs> She's very easy on the eyes, isn't she? She is, and she's doing very well. She's lovely. Is it true that Stephen Moffat banned you from having any liaisons with the assistant? Dangerous liaisons? Yes. Well... Is it true? Because he said... <laughs> it was... Oh, God, it was my fault, that story, because I, it, it sort of got a little bit out of context, but mm. one day in a bar upstairs, you know, we, you talk about these things, because it isn't good for the chemistry on the screen. That's the oh. theory. Because yeah. I heard, if the TARDIS is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think that's, uh... Really? Yeah, I mean, it would, if you shag your assistant... <laughs> no, <laughs> the, the, the chemistry, like you said, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be awkward, isn't it? The thing with the doctor is, he's not that... Well, at least my doctor isn't that sexual, a man. No. He's, he's sort of asexual in many ways. Mm. He's got a wife, River Song, yeah. but he doesn't... I don't think he does anything with her. He doesn't do it anymore. No, he just talks about, you know, atoms and Yeah. Aliens well, he's been going stuff. on for ages, hasn't he? So you must lose I interest. I mean, he's 900. It's, it's, oh, it's hard to keep it alive. Isn't it? It? <laughs> Even sometimes in relationships of a few years, it's hard to spice it up. I know. <laughs> Got to get so the I... rum out. Yeah. And the Bombay mix <laughs> just to get a bit of the semi going on. <laughs> Is it true, though, with the Doctor, you playing the Doctor, you've started, developed inso insomnia, is that right? You've started... You well, can't sleep? I'm not a very I'm good sleeper. i about you. I know, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've got a new bed, though, recently, which has helped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, and those orthopaedic ones? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I love them. Because I've got, I've got two beds. I've got one in my house in London, and I have a flat in Cardiff, you see, that I stay oh, when I'm up there. Right. And that was where I was having more trouble sleeping, because my one in London's really nice. Mm. And my one in, But my one in Cardiff... It's the same flat that David lived in, yeah. and Chris. So it's been there seven years, and it, and it, and it hasn't been changed. You see. Oh. So so. So they need to regenerate the bed. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I heard you also. You try to avoid the internet. Yeah. Why do you do that? How do you buy train tickets? <laughs> you turn up. <laughs> you just you do it in person. Yeah, I turn up at the old uh, 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 the stage. Oh, do you know what? I, I can't be bothered to buy them on the on the internet either. Really? No. Do you know what? I don't open my post. I'm one of them. I don't know why. I just don't. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't... I just don't want to know. <laughs> so, this internet, what do you do for porn, then? <laughs> yeah, I mean... What do you do? <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> I've got a good memory, <laughs> <laughs> I've got your... <laughs> I'm creative with it. Oh. I just but... thought you wrote boobs upside down on a calculator. Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I opened my newspaper the other day and I nearly choked on my Cocoa Pops. What? Seriously, it said you were quitting. Is there... Look at that. I quit. Well, Is I'm... there any truth in that? I'm not quitting, no. No, no, what? no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very kind of... but, uh, it... Why would a newspaper lie? <laughs> I don't know, really. It's a shame, but it's, um... No, I've got another ten weeks of filming. I'm coming back for the 50th anniversary. I mean, there's yeah. loads. There's loads more to shoot. Now, Stephen's hinted that the next Doctor's going to be a woman. Right. Do you know who I'd like to see as the new, new Doctor? Go on. Julie Goodyear. 
<laughs> I think she's been around for 900 years, so she knows... <laughs> from, <laughs> from Colin. <laughs> she used to own the old... Uh, yeah, Ben the, Gilroy. The Rover's Return. Yeah, did you see <laughs> her in Slemmy Big Brother? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I could did. see her there going, fuck it, now when all the Daleks turn up. Oh, yeah. the little phone ringing. Oh, bloody hell, it is. It's Julie Goodyear, she's heard. <laughs> it's with that. <laughs> oh, it's go on, go on. <laughs> Matt Smith's phone. <laughs> is it my mum? She's in is, Greece. Is it, is it your mum or dad? It, uh, it's Alan Carr, I'm filming Chatty Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mum? I can't hear you. Oh, Dad, Dad, uh, sorry, Dad. Dad yeah. Listen, um... How, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm just filming Chatty Man with Alan, who Mum loves, doesn't she? Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> how are you Yeah. You're on Channel 4, <laughs> Mr Smith. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, how's Greece? Yeah. I tell you what, we'll take a break. Bye. And then you can continue. We've got to take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes when Matt will be here with his dad. <laughs> and I'll also be chatting to Paralympic Sprinkers, Johnny Peacock, and Example will be performing. See you in part four. <laughs>